Hey guys, back in the garage today, uh, trying to get some uh, so, some stuff done, get some projects done. Um, just wanted to take a few minutes and uh, show you some lures that uh, I made. Um, I've tested them all out; they all work. Um, first ones you'll see uh, these right here. These are just bottle caps, and they have BBs in the center of them. See, they rattle. Um, we just you take. Um, a hammer and a nail and you're gonna put a net and put a hole right in that little round divot right there you're gonna put a hole there and a hole on the other side then you're gonna take a snap ring and you're gonna put the snap ring through the hole on both sides on one side you're gonna put your hook like this and then the other side looks just like that and then what you do you take BBs from a BB gun and you taco the thing together just like this and that's your lure for that um, I made like this one here this is just a spoon out of my kitchen and of course, my wife's never seen this lure, and I hope to God she never does, because that'll be World War III. Um, I've made uh, lures out of cork, wine corks. These are a little bit different. You uh, that little crack right there in the in the uh, in the hoop. Basically, all it is is just. Uh, let's see if I can get this thing open here. This container. I'm doing working one-handed today. Um, you just take that where that joins together and you spread it apart and you put a, you put your treble hook in there and you squeeze it back together with, uh, with pliers or pound it down with a hammer. Personally, I'd prefer using pliers. I don't like hitting my damn fingers with, with hammer heads. Um, and then you take a bottle cap and you glue it to the other side. And you put another one of these uh, picture hanging hoops in the top. Um, and then you could go a step further and uh, put those little jiggle eyes on it. Let's see if I can grab one here. Like I said, I'm kind of working one man today. I don't have my, my kids in there playing Disney Infinity video game. He's got a day off from school, so that's what he chose to do. But uh, you just take these and you glue them like on the side, just like that, on both on one on each end. And uh, you can take a marker and uh, put some color on it or whatever. Um, I got this one here. I made. This is just uh, safety wire and some. Uh, craft beads and I had another lure that broke so I took the uh, the little uh, spoon off and uh, it spins pretty good but um, I made this one for salt water and you just uh, put the uh, the wire through the the hook you hoop you, you uh, wrap it around twist it up cut off the excess and you do the same thing for the top up here when you're making your, your hoop to uh, tie your line on to it. Anyway, um, I just wanted to show you some lures. Oh, yeah, and I got this one right here, too. Uh, my son actually made this one. It's actually pretty cool. It's safety wire again and some craft beads and, and uh, a little uh, spinning spoon. And... Uh, this is how he did his. He put bead on the bottom, two beads on top. But the only thing is with the, with this one is that the bottle cap spins too. And I don't know if he intended it for it to do that, but it does it. And he's actually caught fish with it. So uh, good for him. But um, anyway, I just wanted to take a few minutes and uh, show you some DIY fishing lures that actually are 
um, proven to work. I have caught fish with them. Okay. Um, maybe at some point I'll post up some pictures of the fish I caught with them and, and whatnot. But uh, for right now, this is what you got. But anyway, thanks for watching. And remember to uh, like and subscribe.